YouTube, Antoine from Hondas and Pythons here, and if you haven't noticed, it's me. I'm at his guy's place. <laughs> if you don't know him, you've been under a rock, and shame on you. This is Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons. He's the man out in these streets in, in California. So, we here. We got some stuff going on right now that we'll see later on on his blog, but right now, I'm going snake shopping. All right, so we're gonna start, talk a little bit about the Redhead project here that I'm like really, really in love with. Um, right here we have a Redhead Batman, possible uh, Red Stripe. I believe it does have Red Stripe because you know some of the other Redhead Batmans we've made have been a lot more cleaned up than these right here. This is actually one of my holdbacks. But speaking of Redhead um, uh, Batman stuff and just Redhead and Spot Nose, the Redhead Powerball to me is still the number one combo I have seen so far, which I'm gonna show you guys here in just a minute. All right, so here it is right here. This right here is my favorite redhead combo. Right here we have the Powerball Redhead Red Stripe. And man, dude, I just love this snake. And I always think about, you know, imagine Yellow Belly. If it already has his nice little oranges right here, did you just imagine how Yellow Belly's gonna make this thing look? Asphalt. Oh yeah, or <laughs> asphalt, yeah. Asphalt would be the better route to go on it. But man, how beautiful is this? This thing's freaking gorgeous, man. Look at that. This right here is a pastel Batman with redhead. Freaking love this thing, dude. This thing is freaking beautiful. And of course we have some other stuff too. We just hatched out a couple of uh, Ultra Mills. These are 100% hypo. I believe this to be a blackhead leopard pin. Ultra Mill, 100% hypo. Clean. This one's really cool. Then we hit this one, it's a little different. I believe this is just black pastel, maybe blackhead pin strip. I don't know. What do you think, Antoine? Uh, Definitely a, has black a, pastel it's, it's, in it's it. It's at least black pin, yeah. Yeah. You gotta love that ultra mill stuff. And then, of course, oh, let me show you some cool stuff here. Here's a couple of holdbacks. This is not too nice, but look at this. Right here, we have a pastel chocolate desert ghost clown. Now, if anybody can sit here and say pastel isn't doing great with this DG Clown combo, you're bugging. Yeah, they're they're tripping, man, big time. And here's one of my favorite snakes we've made. This thing is so cool, man. I love this thing right here. Look at this, the Chimera. That's crazy. The Two Face. See, and it's a good. It came out good, huh? Like, look at that. Like, yeah. you see it? You have one side that's, you know, uh, DG Clown, and you got the other one that's just regular Clown. Test. Freaking love this thing, dude. It's go get some theme. I think I'm gonna end up keeping that as well. Um, but let's see, let's see. Let's have, we have some other crazy stuff here. Here's another snake that I have that's a super powerhouse, man. Love this girl. Right here we have a black pastel orange dream uh, hypo desert ghost, 100% head clown. Can't wait to see the visual, the triple visual of this one right here. This is gonna be freaking insane. And one that I always show this, you know, to me is the favorite pied. I don't think pied gets any better than this, honestly. Super orange dream, yellow belly inchy, chocolate pied head clown. Look at that chocolate dip with the dude. outlines of it too. Bro, yeah. chocolate and dude, chocolate makes these things look so much better, man. That orange. It's just so freaking beautiful. And then see what else. What else do we have here? We do have a lot of stuff for um for self too. We have yellow belly. It's not visual, but like here's another one that's really pretty. But I do have a visual clown of this, and here would be the visual. It's a spot nose, lace, lesser lace, lace clown. That head, man. Jeez. So freaking beautiful. Speaking of the lace stuff, right here we have a Cypress Fire Lace Clown. Super lucky, and um. And it's crazy because I missed on this big time last year. Well, this, yeah, 2023. But we're able to get two of these sunset clowns. One of them already went somewhere else. <laughs> but look at that. Look how beautiful this is. They're getting better every uh, year, man. Yeah, and this is a male. So now we have a total of three male sunset clowns here. And of course, we get this little sunset pos head clown. Beautiful snakes, man. And let me show you my um my other sunset clown. These are around what is around 450 grams. Look at this. It's crazy. It's 
Still looks good too. Can't wait to see him with all these other, other combos, man. And look right here, man. We have a Blackhead Dreamsicle. And these things are just gonna look better and better with age. Let me show you a snake that I compare, can compare it to if I did not sell it already. Blackhead, it should be over here. Oh, here it is. Dude, I freaking love this snake, man. It's one of the prettiest snakes. And I don't even know if the camera will do it any justice. But right here, we have a Blackhead Leopard Lavender, 100% head pipe. All right, let me, let me show you guys a couple of other holdbacks that I'm really excited about as well. Right here we have a chocolate hypo desert ghost head clown, and it is going to shed, so it looks a little, you know, it's a super hypo right now. Yeah, <laughs> but man, I'm really excited about this project. And then on the side of it, right here we have another snake. Please don't. Man, it seems like everything's in shed today, man. <laughs> right here we have a black pastel hypo clown, 50% head desert ghost. Nice. You know. With that shed testing stuff, hopefully, you know, these things prove out. Put a little water in there. And yeah, guys, and if you guys are interested in any of the stuff, we have some stuff on Morph Market. We're about to drop a big list over here on Patreon. All of these snakes right here are going to be up for sale, including these right here. Something that I haven't even showed on my channel yet either is these right here. I believe these are some of the first GHI pies that are 100% head desert ghost. Look at that. Like that 50 yeah, and then this one right here, we have a GHI double head desert ghost pied. Dude, I think I, I love how GHI desert ghosts already look. Could you imagine with DG on pieds? It's gonna be freaking amazing. <laughs> All right, so I did make a decision and I came away with something, but you can't see it here. You'll see it on Miguel's video tomorrow, so make sure you tune into that video. Was it like 8 a.m.? Yeah, 8 a.m. Yeah. yeah, 8 a.m. Pacific. Check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Big shout out to Always Evolving Python family. My man Miguel, the, the whole team, the turtle right here too. Appreciate your love and support. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. That notification bell right there. Smack that bad boy so you know every time a new video pops up. Till next time, deuces. deuces.